And now back to Real Estate Today with Jackie Maholtra. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Real Estate Today. Um, okay, so the next thing that I would like to discuss with all of you, and I hope a lot of you real estate agents out there are watching, because when I first got into the business, the first question I asked every realtor was, uh, why do you love this business? And the majority of them said exactly half of these answers um, that were a uh, blog done on Trulia.com. Um, so it's 21 reasons why to be a real estate agent. And the number one uh, most, um, the number one answer for why people want to be a real estate, real estate agent, excuse me, was um, the look that the, it's called the look. And what that means is that um, every time you sell a new buyer a home, the look on their face when they're walking into a property. So there's so many reasons. But anyways, I'm going to go through this uh, lovely list from Trulia here saying what the 21 reasons are to be a real estate agent. Um, so the first one, the look. Uh, it says, I can never get enough of the look on a buyer's face when they find their new home. And isn't that true? We absolutely get thrilled on and completely forget if it was a hectic transaction, a difficult, an easy um, up and down and you know the ebb and flow of a real estate transaction. Um, it's absolutely when you hand your buyer a keys and they walk into that home for the first time knowing that it's theirs and that they purchased it. So great. Uh, the next is that it keeps me on my toes. And it says here that no year market client or deal is ever the same and that is absolutely the truth I can honestly tell you being a real estate agent that every single transaction is different um, I've learned something from every single one and it's just such a great experience to just keep progressing and then maybe the next time you have that situation arise uh, you know how to deal with it maybe a little bit better uh, than you did the first time the next it says the only boss I have is me isn't that the truth? So although we do all work for a broker and we have to meet the expectations that our broker sets for us, uh, you know, we really only have ourselves to account for. If we're not at work or we're not working that day, it's nobody's fault but our own. And if we're selling those million dollar homes, making great commissions, then we have ourselves to thank for that. So that's very true. Um, it says here that it's gratifying to sell a house that is unsellable, at least um, if another agent was in charge of marketing it, which is so true. There's a lot of homes out there that you know unfortunately maybe aren't taken care of or maybe were a, a, a rental property by a an owner who lived out of town or out of state so he had no idea that the condition of the property was you know degrading so that's absolutely true and it's a really um, good pat on the back for an agent to know that you can sell a home that maybe wasn't sellable initially um, every house tells a story um, also it's gratifying to help people sort through the process and make Thing, make the complicated simple. Isn't this the truth? We go through such a tedious transaction at times with a pest inspection and a home inspection. And sometimes when it comes down to the nitty gritty, you know, a $200 pest inspection um, or something that needs to be fixed may not in turn be as big of a deal if you have an agent who knows what they're doing and, you know, can give you the pluses and the minuses to that transaction. Um, number seven, I like that I can make as much money as I want to. And that is absolutely true. You can make as much money in this business as you want or as little money as you want in this business depending on how hard you work, how much you work, and you know that's really up to you to decide that. Um, I adore looking at houses. It makes me feel like a spy and I've learned more about the architecture than I ever thought I would. When I get bored in a day of real estate, which isn't often, um, I do. I go and I tour houses and I look at houses that I haven't seen and sometimes it's for a client and sometimes it's just to see what's on the market um, and to be more knowledgeable of what's on the market and then other times it's to get good decorating tips because you know I always like to see what other people do with their homes. So that's very true. My life is flexible. I've never missed my kids school play or sporting event or parent teacher conference. That really hits home to me. I have a two and a half year old son at home and I would die if I had to miss anything that he does because he's my firstborn, only one right now. Um, but if I you know, had to miss something, a soccer game, or something that he's doing in school, I'd be very, very uh, disgruntled with that. Um, and in this career, I don't have to be. So nothing feels, like a new <clears throat> nothing feels like a new listing. I get so incredibly excited when I get a new listing. Absolutely, amen to that. I help people accomplish something that they thought was impossible. This is a great one for this day and age right now. Some people who thought that they could never buy a home or that they couldn't buy again after dealing with you know, a short sale or foreclosure, that time is coming. So these people right now are incredibly thrilled with the fact that they are able to get back in there in the buying world and buy you know, a new home. And to be a real estate agent and to help them through that, very, very cool. Um, I can start at 6 a.m. or noon, it's my decision. 
love that. I have time set aside to do certain things. This show for one, setting appointments. Um, you know, you can schedule them around your schedule and you schedule them around your client's schedule. It's not always when I can do something, it's when my clients can do something. So that's really great too. We work on as many hours as we want. I learn something new every day. We've touched on that. It feels good to know that all I, it feels good to know that I do all I can to protect my clients. Uh, every day is different, never bored. I'm always touched by the happy tears when clients enter a new phase in their life. Number 17, no job is better at teaching you how to roll with the punches. That is so true. In this business, you're up, you're down, the transaction's going well, they're canceling contract, we're back in. That's absolutely true. Uh, no one tells me what to do or how much I'm worth. Again, that's all on you. It's my job to research and explore my community. I know where to go and there's always a familiar face. This is so true. If you're gonna be listening at home, out of town, um, you know, go to that town, make an excuse to take your family, go to that town, look around, check the schools, check the local shopping, see what's available and do your research, you know, in that property. And that's what makes this job awesome and that every day is different because there are so many activities that you can do, um, you know, when it comes to getting a new listing and researching an area. And that's my favorite part. I love the research aspect. Um, every time I save the day or more likely a deal, I feel like a superhero. That's true too. It's always nice to pat yourself on the back when you do a good job and help your client out. Number 20, uh, or excuse me, number 21. There's nothing more satisfying than handing my client the keys to their new house. And this is what I was discussing very first in the beginning. I think it was number one, the look on their face when you hand them those keys. Um, this is really gratifying in this business to be able to help somebody buy a home. This isn't, you know, a car. This isn't, um, you know, a jar of olive oil at the grocery store. This is a house. This is, you know, something that's at least 70000 on the way up to a million dollars um, and hopefully more for you. And, uh, you know, it's really gratifying helping somebody make one of the biggest purchases of their life and this being a really big life event for them. So anyways, I thought that was really interesting. 21 top reasons to be a real estate agent. So if you're considering being a real estate agent, absolutely join on board. It's a great career. Um, I think I'm speaking for most realtors when I say that, you know, we love it. It's a great payout. Um, you know, you work hard, you get compensated for it. So anyways, moving on. So now this is another reason why you want to become a real estate agent um, because the, I want to talk about the most expensive listing right now in America, and that's $139 million out of Hillsborough, Florida. And we have some pictures to show you what this house actually entails, and it's absolutely stunning and amazing. So this house here is in Hillsborough, Florida. It's a palatial views all around, stunning, beautiful palace, 60,000 square feet. This home uh, boasts 11 bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, and I believe it said 27 car garage. Who needs that? I mean, this is stunning. If I were somebody who was gonna be buying a hotel, I would be buying this place because the views on this place are absolutely stunning. Um, so uh, it says here that there is marble, there is marble pillars, gold tones, crystal chandeliers, and it's just crazy, crazy decorated. Um, when we get to the picture of the staircase, I will show you that this staircase cost over $2 million to build. Um, it was a staircase that was cased in steel iron and gold leaf, and it's coming up soon, but just keep an eye on all these marble pillars and these beautiful chandeliers in this gorgeous home. And, um, you know, it's still currently under construction. It's set to be complete in the year 2015, which is shortly here. Um, and I did do a little bit of research on, this is the exterior of that house, but I did do a little bit of research on the most expensive home uh, in Amador, or excuse me, in the world. And this home beats the William Randolph Hearst Beverly House. Um, that was once listed for 135 million and it's actually back on the market today. So this home uh, tops that home, which is hard to beat if anyone's ever been to Hearst Castle and knows a little bit about William Randolph Hearst, an amazing publisher. Um, and so anyways, uh, and then of course, you know, the spelling mansion that, um, that was potentially on the market at one time for $150 million, which is Aaron Spelling, TV producer's uh, home in, the, in Beverly Hills. So anyways, I just thought this was a really cool, um, beautiful, cool is a really terrible word. This is a stunning home on oceanfront in Florida. So if you're looking to buy this $139 million listing, um, 
check it out online. It's very, very cool. So uh, anyways, thank you so much. Stay tuned with us. We will be right back.